What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy getting in another reaction, getting to a lovely new episode of My Hero Academia, episode 23 of season six. Off the of last episode, it's looking like we get into a little battle between Deku and Class A. Class A has come to fucking bring Deku back to his senses and help him out as their friends because they care about him, obviously. And he's taking on a lot on his own right now. He feels like he has to do it all right now. And you know, it's all up to him and he's kind of lost his values of like working together with people. And, you know, he's at, a, he's at a point now where he feels like he has to carry all of it on his own. And, and it's just, I understand where he's coming from. The burden of one for all is very, very heavy. It is, but you cannot forget that you did not get here by yourself. You had a lot of help from your friends. You had a lot of help from all night. I mean, you're the one that's been helping out all of your friends along the way as well but now you've gotten to a point where you're trying to take on everything on your own and it's just gonna end up biting you in the ass i mean you can tell how fatigued he is and how tired he is i mean he's not even accepting a meal from all might i mean it's just it's not the right it's not the right path for him i mean he is he is doing a good job of of being able to handle most things on his own and he's at an insanely new level now he's very strong and he's basically at 100 percent of one for all missing only one quirk from the second user but you need to learn to take a break you have to take a chill pill like you know it's gonna be okay like you can't keep moving and moving and moving 24 7 and not expect to get to a point where you're at your like last legs bro you're gonna get caught up like that you need to learn to rest and, and take a break and i think that's what class a has come to do is make them make him realize like you know we got people that care about you still and you know it's it's okay to take a break even though you have this heavy burden it's okay to take a break and it's okay to be around the people that you care about even though you th you know you think obviously it's it's kind of a double-edged sword because you know him coming back to ua or being around the people that he cares about kind of jeopardizes their safety but remember like th these friends of yours are also heroes they're very strong in themselves maybe not as strong as you but, I mean, Bakugo is plenty capable, plenty talented. I mean, all of your classmates give a fuck about you. And you need to remember where you came from and just take a chill pill, man. Like, it's all going to be okay. So, I'm really glad that his friends have, have, have come to, like, try and save him and make him realize that he's able to take a break. And I'm excited to see where this goes. I, I remember remember reading this and it was, it was a very emotional uh, deal for him because he's trying to take on everything by himself but you know his friends really do care about him and are trying to do the right thing for him and it's gotten to a point right now where he kind of looks like a villain I mean he's he's just very dirtied up very tattered he has multiple quirks so people take a notice of that and immediately think all for one uh, so he needs to he needs to kind of take a chill pill and, and, and take a couple steps back and, and just relax for a second because he's doing a little too much on his own and uh, I'm very excited to see how Class A gets, you know, through to him. Because uh, right now he's determined to try and keep on doing everything on his own. But I'm sure they'll accomplish whatever they're trying to accomplish and, and make him realize, like, hey, it's okay. Like, relax. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the heaviest voices that are going to get through to him are Bakugo and Uraraka. Obviously, because Uraraka is kind of like, he, he, she's like, we all know. Like, she's, she's very infatuated with him. Um, probably in love with him. And, uh, you know, she, she really cares about him. And, and the same thing goes for Bakugo because he's had a lot of character development ever since they first, like, kind of introduced both these two in the show. Bakugo was always very cocky and, and kind of bullied him because he he didn't have a quirk. And, you know, you know it kind of had this, like, complex that he was better than everybody else and especially him because uh, Deku really looked up to Bakugo and was always kind of chasing after him. Uh, but then he got to a point where he, he kept on getting better and better. He got a quirk. He kept on getting better and stronger. And that really fucked with Bakugo. And now they're at a point where they have a really good rivalry. And, and Bakugo actually cares about Deku. And they actually have a very good friendship. Stronger than probably anybody else in Class A. Uh, because of the bond they have and how they grew up with each other. And, and, and them kind of first, you know, them two knowing more about what's going on with Deku and All Might. Before anybody else. Uh, so, you know, it, it's really cool to see his character development from, and, and self-realizing how he bullied him and, 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 um, coming to a point now where he, he's trying to help him. So very, very amazing stuff. I'm excited to get into this episode and see how they stop him. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got. So let's get into the episode. If y'all enjoy it, please leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to see the next one and know when it's coming out, let's get into the episode. Episode 23, Deku versus Class A. Damn it. Damn right, throw that shit in his face, bro. He can't smile right now. He wants to see everybody smiles again, but he, he's doing too much. 
You got no kill. How do you expect everybody else to smile if you can't smile yourself? Here we go, baby. Here we go. Save your friend. Make him realize. All right, come on, Class A. You gotta stop his ass. Mm-hmm, see, look. Midoriya has always been the voice of reason and been able to get through to people and his friends and make them realize, like... Mm-hmm. He's always been there for them. So it's only right that they're here for him. Cleared the smoke away real quick. Mm, yeah, so Saro helped him a lot with Black Whip. See, he's always helped his friends a lot. Unconditional support and, and, and love, bro. Like, he needs that from his friends now, but he's being stubborn because he feels like this burden is too heavy for anyone else to carry but himself. Go, Tokiyami. Right, you've helped them to come this far. Now they're using everything that they've learned from you to fucking try and bring you back to your senses. Let's take a shower. <laughs> yeah, for real. When was the last time he's bathed? Damn right, bro. It doesn't have to be only you. Damn right. Mm, they're on standby near them. Dude, I bro, nah, Shota's voice actor. You know who he voices too, bro. Aaron Yeager, bro. That motherfucker's voice actor is different. Mm. Wake the fuck up already, Deku. Come on. Mmm, okay, Minuta. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, he's gonna use Fajin too. He's trying to get the fuck, bro. Yeah, he's able to simulate 100% because of Fajin. He's still using 45%. That's crazy. So imagine using everything once he actually is at 100% with one for all. Like, bro, nah. 
Ooh, they gonna catch up to him, baby. <laughs> yeah, you say we can't keep up, but we're keeping up right now. <laughs> oh, let's go. Come on. They want to help you, bro. Come on, accept it. Bro, I fucking love this shit. Come on. They're catching up to you, bro. Even though you think they, they can't handle their own. Look at that. Look at that shit. It's his friends. Mm. Throw his words right back at him, bro. Let's go. I think they finally got through to him. They finally broke him. Holy shit. Damn. Mmm. Throwing those words right back at him. That, shit, that got me a little emotional, bro. The fuck? Yeah, see, dude, you're at your limit. It's about damn time you fucking gave up. Good shit. Come on, bro. They're here for you. He took, he took the impact of the fall. Hmm, very true. They're trying to save you, bro. Mm, okay, yeah, see? Alright, yeah, this is, this is... You can definitely see where he's coming from. He doesn't want to cause anyone else trouble or jeopardize their safety. It all falls back to that, bro. ことを覚えてるか覚えてない。てめえをずっと見下してた。うん。無個性だったから。俺より遥か後ろにいるはずなのに。俺より遥か先にいるような気がして。否定することで優位に立とうとしてたんだ。うん。The See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. The character development for him is amazing. He's actually apologizing. Bro, nah. The character development is amazing. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Mm-hmm. Bro, amazing. I love this shit. <laughs> Dude, nah, bro, amazing. And his rival, his best friend, is the one to pick him up. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to get him to bring him back to you, eh? Every, there's not going to be... There's people staying there that are not going to fuck with that, bro. Because he's such a big target. Oh my god, we actually see her face? Bro, what? Yeah, bro, look at the fucking security system they have for the school now. That is that, bro, that looks like a... Is that Shiganshina right there, bro? <laughs> God damn. You've made it this far. You've made it this far. Come on. 
Beautiful. Is it gonna end right here, though? God damn it, I fucking knew it, bro. Ah, uh, we have to wait for the next episode, which is, unfortunately, the last one of the season, as far as I know. Man, oh man, oh man, that was a good episode. Holy fuck. Alrighty, guys, what another amazing episode of My Hero. I mean, as we thought, you know, Deku versus Class A, he was being stubborn as hell, trying to take on this burden and everything on by himself. And uh, really, really trying to prove to them like he's okay on his own, and, and like, and this all stems from him trying to protect everybody. He, he he's scared of losing somebody else. He's scared of someone that he's close to dying. His friends, his classmates, his 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 mom. His, I mean, anyone anyone that's at UA. He's scared of you know jeopardizing their safety, as he mentions towards the end of the episode or, or towards the end of their kind of battle between him and Class A. Uh, and he, and, you know, everybody's showing their moves and, and giving their points. Like, look, you were the one that showed, told me to do this. You're the one that helped me out, make this move work. You're the one that said this to me that really propelled my progress forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're seeing a bunch of flashbacks of how Midoriya has helped everybody in his class and how he was always the voice of reason and, you know, a, a really positive influence on them. And now they're trying to do the same for him and making him realize, like, you know, you don't have to do this all on your own. And he's just being stubborn, 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 stubborn. And getting to the point where he tried to catapult away with as much energy as possible by using his simulated version of 100% one for all. And even then, they still catch up to him, combining their teamwork with, with everybody, really. I mean, Mina's acid, Shoto's firepower and, and ice on the rail and, and Dark Shadow pushing them. And then... And then Bakugo propelling himself even further and then and then that and then he lets Ida propel himself even further to catch up to Ida or Deku and then Ida finally you know holds his like reaches out and, and catches his hand and, and throws the words that Deku told him way back when he was trying to get revenge for his brother against Stain sometimes you got to lend out a helping hand like who else is going to do it you know what I'm saying I mean that's the that's the actual true nature of a hero and so that pretty much was like the breaking point for him and what finally got it through to him like they're really trying to help me and they and he they actually caught up to him in that moment where he was saying like nah bro this is between one for all and all for one like you guys can't keep up like it's impossible like and, and that's just, again stemming from his 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 fear of not being able to or not not being able to protect them but you know of them you know getting mixed up in it and potentially getting hurt or killed you know that's like a fear of his so the fact that they actually did catch up, like, he he finally realized that towards the end when Bakugo was talking to him, like, how could I even say that, bro? Like, you guys threw everything right right back at me in my face and, and like, you know, just proved me wrong right there. So, like, how could I even say that? So, they finally get through to him. And uh, Bakugo is really the one to take on the lead of the conversation once he actually stops and starts to talk to them again. And Bakugo basically goes on to explain why he bullied him, why he, like, kind of kept his distance from him or tried to keep him... Uh, uh, away from him because he always thought he was better than him because he was quirkless um, and then even he goes on to explain like his frustration because he felt like Deku was always getting one step ahead of him even though he was quirkless too like as a kid like he came to like help him out whenever he fell down in the river and he felt like insulted by that because he has a quirk and Deku doesn't even have a quirk but he still has that heart to help somebody in need Whereas the rest of the friends that they were with, I think, in that scene and that flashback, he, there was a couple other friends following Bakugo, uh, as well as Deku, and they didn't even go down to help him. But Deku was, like, there immediately, like, hey, like, hey are you okay? And so that always kind of fucked with him, and, and, you know, that's where it kind of stemmed from Bakugo, like, thinking that Deku was always one step ahead of him. And then sure enough, at UA, he just realized that time and time again, like, his own weakness, and then Deku, like, continuing to get stronger and, and, and push forward and getting better than him or not even necessarily better than him but realizing his his values and and you know continuing to push forward and get one step ahead you know what i'm saying and uh bakugo i mean the character development development for him to have that self-realization and reflect on that and he actually apologized to him which really like set in stone for deck like really broke him down and like like how could I ever say that you guys can't keep up and, and he like really broke down right there and, and fell over and sure enough his best friend his rival is the one to catch him and pick him up and I mean that was beautiful the yeah, character development for Bakugo is unreal and I'm really glad we got to see that very emotional episode all around 
uh, for Deku in the whole entirety of Class A, and they're really just trying to look out for him and keep his best interest in mind and let him take a break and let him rest and give him a place to stay and, you know, allow him to take a break because he has such a heavy burden and he and they want to carry it with him like he's not alone but then now the next hurdle is in front of him uh where they're trying to bring him back into ua and everyone else that is staying there in the shelters the civilians the anti-hero vigilantes and all that stuff like you know they're they don't want him there uh because he's the biggest target of all for one in shigaraki and uh they are obviously very scared and frightened and you know they're like well what what, what how can the principal do this? Is he going back on his word? You said it was our safety first, our safety first. So, you know, this is the next hurdle that they got to go through where like Deku is not welcomed in his own school. And, uh, he's realizing that he, he kind of tried to turn away, uh, right when he saw that and, and go, go back outside of the barrier and, and continue his thing. But Uraraka stopped him and grabbed his hand and was like, it's okay. And that's where she said again, like who helps the hero whenever they need help. And, uh, this is what, you know, class A and her are about to do is like, they're helping the hero that needs help. And that's Deku right now. Like he's trying to take on way too much on his own. And, uh, they're going to, you know, try and get through this crowd, I guess. And, you know, try and convince them like, you know, we gotta, we gotta help this kid. Like he's, he's doing too much on his own. He needs to have some sort of rest, a meal. You know what I'm saying? He needs to be in tip top shape for when that time does come where you have to fucking have this battle. The battle is going to happen regardless, but you need to be ready at a hundred percent. And right now he is not at a hundred percent. He can barely stand. I mean, he is fucking exhausted. So, very, very cool stuff to see. I'm glad we got that. And glad to see that, you know, Class 1A is is able to be there for him and, and realize how much he's helped them in the past and, and trying to return the favor now. Uh, it's really, really amazing stuff. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't be happier with the turnout of that. And, and hopefully they finally get through this crowd and make them realize, like, hey, we got to help this kid. Like, he's our only hope, really. Like, yes, he's he's a big target, and it, it, it seems like he's going to jeopardize our safety because All For One wants him. But then again, he's also our best fucking chance in protecting all of you. Like, you should be grateful for how much he's putting in work right now. You know, you got to, you got to, if you're going to realize the bad, you got to also realize the good. Like, he is your best chance in keeping you guys safe and and actually taking out the threat he is your best chance that much is fact so hopefully you know the you know voice of reason will get through to them between all of his classmates and and the principal maybe even comes out and says something or any other person that has you know respect for him and 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 wants to help him you know have a good life and and protection as well from his friends like he's not he's not the only one that has to do the protecting you know what i'm saying he needs to be protected too uh and he needs help just as much as anybody else even though he has this burden in this in this very strong power like he needs he needs support and protection and help as well so very beautiful stuff i can't wait to see the next episode i'm pretty sure the next episode is the last one uh as far as i know unless unless there's a 25th episode maybe maybe like a little like mix of filler and in, in canon i'm not really sure as far as I know, it seems like they're setting up setting up next episode to be the last for this season at least. And uh, I've loved every step of the way. This season has been nothing but a treat. It's been so so good, and that that was a really good episode right there. I really really appreciate that the character development from everybody, but mainly Bakugo, um, and then them actually getting through to Deku and helping him out, and you know, continuing to do so through in throughout the next episode. I'm sure. Uh, so very very amazing stuff. I, I loved it amazing episode if y'all enjoyed it please have a like down below comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when the next one's dropping i'll see y'all in the next one y'all be good deuces